Former President Donald Trump kicked off his 2024 campaign yesterday with a pair of events in two crucial early voting states, South Carolina and New Hampshire. But these weren't large, rambunctious rallies that the former president is known for. A new approach, approach perhaps, as the Republican Party considers whether it needs a new face at the top of the ticket. Here with me now is Republican Governor Chris Sununu of New Hampshire. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I want to talk politics in a second, but first I want to ask about what happened in Memphis and the Tybree Nichols, the video that we have seen, and most importantly, the, the brutal beating, deadly yeah. beating. I mean, I think first I, when I saw it, you, you see it as, I see it as a dad, right? And what that father must have been going through watching that. I mean, uh, it's just so gut-wrenching. Uh, but then obviously I, I do have to transition. I think, okay, well, I'm the governor of the state. I oversee police standards and training. I oversee state police and law enforcement. What are we doing at, at our level? And so you want to make sure that, those, that there's a, a sense of accountability. There's, and, and it's not just training, of course. I mean, what you saw there was beyond tr a training failure. It was humanity. And, and I think everyone acknowledges that. So, um, again, you've got to make sure you're being transparent. We want to make sure, and for example, all our law enforcement officers are seeing that video, understanding what, what happened, what, where, where those failures really were. And they clearly go beyond the video, unfortunately, mm -hmm. right? You know, what is inherent within our system. So I think everyone across the country is taking a look at it, but that's, that's the, the kind of the tough part of leadership in terms of making sure that you're driving forward with, you know, the right process going forward and the right mentality with your, with your teams on the ground. A lot of calls, renewed calls for Congress to deal with uh, comprehensive police reform. Mm -hmm. New Hampshire, you say it is famously libertarian, live mm -hmm. free or die. Do you believe the federal government should take the lead in having a uniform, so to speak, uh, set of rules and regulations on a national level? I don't mind the federal government creating guidelines, but let's understand what's, what's important and what the issues are in a New York City or in Boston or in New Hampshire or in, or in Arizona. It might be all very, very different. What, how, we, how we train is very different. In New Hampshire, we have one centralized training facility for local and state enforcement. So it allows us, when we change one of our processes, it makes sure that it goes through the whole system. Not every state does it that way. So uh, I think the guidelines are okay. Um, making sure that certain uh, issues of mental health and mental illness, um, of safety of officers, of you know, issues of bail reform and all of these sort of things, they can provide those guidelines. But I do believe that states and cities and towns really need to make a lot of those decisions on their own. Let's talk a little politics. Um, you're here. Is it because Donald Trump was in New Hampshire? <laughs> no, no I, I, I heard he was coming. I hadn't yeah. made my plans to be And then down you here. said, uh, let's get out of here? No, no. heck no. no. <laughs> um, but one of the reasons he became the Republican nominee in 2016 is because... He won the first primary state, yeah. your, your state of New Hampshire. Could he do that again? Oh, he could. I don't think he will. Uh, he could. You know, one thing, I mean, obviously he's, he started his campaign uh, after the election in 22. That obviously uh, had a lot of stumbling blocks um, that, that he was trying to overcome. He comes to New Hampshire, and frankly, he gives a, a very mundane speech. The, the response we've received is he read his teleprompter, he stuck to the talking points, he, he, he went away. So he's not really bringing that fire, that energy. I think that a lot of folks saw it in 16. I think in many ways it was a little disappointing to some folks and even he acknowledged it wasn't uh, his best. He came to a predetermined crowd, not one of his big rallies. And so I, I think a lot of folks understand that, um, you know, he, he's going to be a candidate, but he's also going to have to earn it. And that's New Hampshire. Even if you're the former president, you've got to come and earn it person to person. I want to play something that you said in your inaugural address earlier oh. this month. It's not right to tell a private business what they can or cannot do. It is not the New Hampshire way to force locally elected and accountable school districts or town councils to bend to the state house's will. That's not leadership. It's not conservative. And it is certainly not freedom. If I didn't know better, I would think that that was a thinly veiled shot at your fellow Republican governor down south, uh, Governor Ron DeSantis, because he's made a point of picking fights with private businesses and schools over cultural issues. Uh, I think. Well, look, I think a lot of Republican leadership is getting behind this idea that we have to fight. And I get it. As in, in a leadership position, you have to be willing to have the fight. But we cannot have leadership that is only about the fight. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a free market. Who, is, uh, who does show that they are leading only about the fight? Who are you t referring to? Oh, I don't think there's any individual. I think, look, a, a lot of Republicans are, are frustrated. A lot of conservatives, a lot of Americans, independents are frustrated because they see this woke culture, this woke cancel culture invading uh, our, our societies and, and, and in our communities. And we need to fight. But you fight argue that, that, sure. that, yeah, but you yes. argue that there's too much of that. There is. That look, there's, there's not, there's too much of the, of the focus on fighting that. My argument is the government is not the solution to cultural issues. And we have a cultural problem. But the government isn't going to come down with a big, heavy hammer and solve that problem. Is Ron DeSantis doing that too much? 
It's not about wrong. It, I, think, I think the Republican Party as a whole just wants to get out and fight as opposed to saying, look, let's remember what we're about. Limited government, local yeah. control, believing in individual responsibility. That's, that's the live free or die spirit in New Hampshire, and the model works really the well. The University of New Hampshire released a new poll this week. You might have seen it. Potential GOP 2024 candidates. Um, we'll put it up on the screen. Ron DeSantis is doing quite well yeah. over the former president. You are on there. <laughs> um, speaking of that... When will you make a decision one way or another whether you will run for president? Oh, I don't have a timeline. I mean, obviously folks are talking about it, but I really don't have a timeline. I'm spending a lot of time nationally trying to grow the party uh, as Republicans. Talk to independents. Talk to the next generation of potential Republican voters that right now no one is really reaching out to. But I think we have a lot of hope and optimism and uh, a way to kind of want them to be on our team. And they should want to be on our team. It's not just about the negativity that you see in the media and the press and that they've kind of been inundated with. It really is about good government. And I'm trying to, I think we've done that really well in New Hampshire, trying to bring that a little bit to the table. And then down the road, if that leads into something bigger, so be So you're considering it? Yes. When do other people, whether it's you or anybody else, need to get in? Because he's the only declared candidate. Former well, yeah, I mean, obviously DeSantis and Trump are the two candidates, right? So whether well, he you're declared or not. I mean, well, he's not declared. Uh, okay, not publicly declared, but he has hundreds of millions of dollars. Okay. Just obviously Ron DeSantis is, is looking to run for president, um, which is fine. And, and he'd probably win New Hampshire right now, without a doubt. Uh, I think other candidates will, will look to get in this spring or into the summer. Um, I'm surprised other candidates, I think a lot of us are, aren't doing better, right? Um, and there's great candidates there. Mike Pence and Nikki Haley and Mike, Mike Pompeo. Mike Pence and, wasn't even on the yeah. list. Yeah, uh, yeah I, don't, I didn't see the yeah. poll, to be honest. But, uh, but no, I'm surprised some of those aren't some but of those But do you think there, you, that you all, you who are considering, and I'm putting yeah. you in that category because you just said you are, aren't doing better because you're not more forward-leaning because you're not... Oh, yeah, I, I'm surprised I'm on, I'm on that poll at all, frankly, <laughs> but because um, we haven't really been, been talking about that. I think there's, there's a lot of uh, hope and opportunity for good canes to get in, drive the message where it needs to be. But the discipline is getting out, too. The discipline is saying, look, you're only pulling at 5%. percent you got to get out. We don't want a crowded field here. And as kind of the referee of the first of the nation primary, uh, I'll have some opportunity there to pull some levers and, and really make sure that we're holding uh, the candidates accountable. Make a good run at it. But if it ain't happening, you got to pull out and leave it down to the two, three, or four and, candidates. And we'll, we'll talk another time about what happens when the referee is in the game, if that happens for you. <laughs> well, that'll Hampshire. happen in South yeah. Carolina. That'll right. happen in Florida. That's true. Right? That's true. Last but time for, we checked, Ron's the but, governor but I'm, of Florida. But, but, I'm but I'm talking about you, Governor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.